Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Kirk Apt after his 20th hard rock finish. Hmm. How about that? No, oh, man, it's a great weekend. Really uh, wonderful experience. Uh, so rich on every level. It was uh, everything hard rock should be. It was way hard. It was uh, lightning. It was it was fun as always. Uh, just just every every everything hard rock should be. It was that like to the tenth power. You've probably seen a lot of changes at Hard Rock over the years, or have you? Well, I have seen some changes, but um, it's still essentially the same, which is why it's Hard Rock. Yeah. The best, the best part about it. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That you know, over you've run, have you run twenty straight Hard Rock? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and twenty one actually. Although it ran me the first year, I had to drop out at Sherman. Did you? So you have a DNF? In I it. have a DNF. That's my only DNF in a hundred mile run. Wow. So you're twenty for twenty one. Mm -hmm. uh, did you ever? When you were about to pull the plug in that first one, when you were thinking, I'm going to do this 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to that point. It was really, really early in my ultra running uh, experience. And, um, you know, looking back on it, I think I got food poisoning because it, it wasn't like, you know, you start feeling bad, you get sick, and you puke and you start running again and it's all good. No, I had, I was feeling good, and then I wasn't, and then I was in the weeds and just dry heaving for the next eight hours. <laughs> so there were some extenuating circumstances in that one. <laughs> yeah, there were. But how do you, in 20 years of doing this, and, and incre I used to say it's an incredibly tough race, like, mm -hmm. no matter how you slice it. Yeah. How do you have not have any outside factors take you out during those 20 years? Well, a whole lot of luck. Um, and then it, you know, just, just finishing here is so, it's so meaningful. Um, yeah, I, I can't imagine pulling out unless, you know, I've got bones sticking out and gushing blood, or I get timed out, which is probably more likely to happen. You're not real close yet. Well, no, but it's, it's uh, I actually, on my split sheets, I wrote down the uh, the cutoff times this year for the first time. <laughs> so you've been here, this is your 21st time, and 20 times, no, no cutoff. Never voice. really thought about the cutoffs, but uh, it's it's um, becoming something that um, I'm at least it's on my radar. <laughs> yeah. So it's is that just due to age or? I think so. Yeah, and and um, you know, back in the day when I was a little more competitive, um, that was great fun, and you know, I really enjoyed that experience, but. Um, and then I, I just kind of naturally just find myself getting slower. You know. So you can either, you know, hold on to, to the competitive side of it and either, you know, lose your love for it or you look at it in a different way. So that's what I'm doing. When you, when you said you were competitive, mm -hmm. uh, how, how, how far up were you in those uh, early races? Um, I have one win and I have... I have a handful of top tens. Yeah, so yeah. you you've seen the gamut of this race, and, mm -hmm. and you do have to make a transition. Yeah, yeah. And is it part of that's probably as you said, you slow a little bit, but you've seen the race. What about the field here this year? Mm, yeah, that was yeah. It's different, really different. Um, uh, so it's really cool to see, you know, the the kind of the new, really seriously fast ultra. I mean, I set the course record here, and I ran just under. 30 hours and now that doesn't even get you a top 10 that was in 2000 so just a short amount is that the time. first time under 30 hours in yeah yeah 2000 oh, what year 2000, 2000. On, on the course i think dave horton went under um 30 hours in the first year but it had some you know some other road sections so it was a faster, faster so in the course of 14 years it's down to yeah. 2241 unbelievable uh, uh, that's just mind so when you ran a in th under 30 hours for the first time, mm -hmm. which direction was it? It was in uh, the opposite direction that we went this year, so it was counterclockwise. So you're you're not even to tell your ride at 22. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, like I, I think I was climbing handies this year, and I'm like, Killian just finished. Can you wrap your head around <laughs> that? No, that's... God. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. But you see these fast people here, and, and mm -hmm. some of them, it's their, it's their profession, it's their mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. But you see that same spirit continuing on when yeah. as the field evolves over the years? Yeah, I think so. Um, even, you know, if, if the runners uh, come here and they don't really get it, they get it pretty quickly. It's, it's palpable here. 
do you think the way that the the organization builds not just the event and the volunteers, mm -hmm. but the, even the lottery system mm -hmm. could contribute to that? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know the the board of directors. Um, that's probably primary on their on their agenda is, is keeping Hard Rock Hard Rock, um, and uh, you know letting it grow, letting it move forward. Um, so that the new people can come in and, and experience it, but um, keeping it hard rock. You know, yeah, I don't get the sense that that's a proprietary thing. Like if the old guys wanted to keep getting in, it's, it is. Yeah. There's a. Yeah. I just can't. All week I've been out here, and just every time I think about hard rock, hard rock is family. Like, mm -hmm. And there's that sense. I mean, you yeah. go look at the. Everybody signed the map for you. Oh, yeah. And but you look awesome. at that list, and and you and I both know you, we're gonna know more than half the people on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's people who have a deep love and passion. Yeah, it's not just a something on their bucket list. Right, it's, right. Then if yeah. they don't get in, they're out here. They're out volunteering, here. Yeah. Or crewing. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, yeah. And and they're hard rockers. They're part of the family. You know, you don't have to complete the the race to 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 be a part of the family. Totally. There's a lot of people who are hard rock who never run the race. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Key parts of hard rocker are yes. people who've never done the race. One of the special people of this race is John DeWalt. Mm -hmm. How was Absolutely. it like not having that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we had a really nice uh, little celebration of, of John, and also we lost uh, Gary Curry mm -hmm. recently. And um, um, Gary was a three time hard rock finisher um, and, you know, just well respected and uh, loved by everyone. So, um, that was definitely a part of my weekend was um, kind of celebrating their life, yeah. their lives, and uh, uh, kind of keeping them in mind. And um, I, I called on Gary a few times. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Gary had a had a really really um, fun thing that he used to do. All the runner, any any race he was doing, you know, if there's any forward and back traffic or if he's passing someone or getting passed by someone, he'd call out, "How's it?" You just have this real kind of joyous statement. How is it? Real simple contraction of how is it, maybe. But more than that, it was more like, this is great. <laughs> you know, how lucky are we? We're, we're out here in the mo one of the most beautiful places in the world. You know, go get them. Uh, enjoy your day. All that was in how is it. So on top of every pass, uh, I yelled out how is it. Awesome. And... Uh, uh, coming into the finish, I had one, one more house for Gary. And, uh, like I said, and, you know, any of those times when you just like, oh man, this is really hard. Gary, <laughs> how's it? Oh, feeling better. Awesome. Were there any, I mean, there was no point during the race you thought you weren't going to make it, was there? Not really, but I had a, I had a, uh, a little extra adventure in Pole Creek. It was raining like hell, and uh, you know, I don't know, what is it, 70 whatever miles in there, almost 80, and and uh, I slipped on a on a slick rock, and I went in, I went swimming, I mean, every, I went in all, everything was wet except for maybe half my head when I fell like that, and I got out, and I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> freezing cold water, it's cold anyway, because yeah. it's raining, you've been out there all night, this is kind of early in the morning, um, so yeah, it, that that definitely uh, woke me up and uh, and um, made me um, get moving. Um, I'd actually been struggling with the sleep monster for oh. quite a while there. That finally snapped me out of it. Something that a five-hour energy couldn't do. <laughs> a little shocking fall on a brisk stream. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, now you have another tool in your bag for next year. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's just like okay, yeah, I know what I can do now. <laughs> Maybe I'll just dunk my head instead of diving in. Probably a good idea. <laughs> Oh, uh, did you have any highlights during the race? Anything that stood out for you? Oh boy, a bunch of stuff. Um, first one that comes to mind is uh, uh, I had the good fortune of being on top of Handy's right as the sun was rising and the moon was setting. So it's like here's the east, and the sky was just this incredible orange, glowing red orange. Just beautiful and you turn around and you look the other way and the moon is setting and we, you know we hadn't seen the moon all night right there were a couple of cloud banks and it was kind of shining through the clouds there and and uh, you know it feels like you're standing on top of the world when you finally 
haul your butt up there after such an effort. Uh, that was cool. And, you know, I also got to spend a, a lot of trail time um, with uh, old friends and new friends and, uh, yeah, just sharing the experience. That's, 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 that's um, hard rock. Um, obviously, hard rock's always tough, but the, the weather seemed particularly uh, finicky this year. Mm, it was finicky. Was it up there uh, in terms of weather you've seen? Yeah, I actually... Uh, I, I lucked out because um, I really never felt threatened by electricity. I mean, I got wet, but man, whatever. You get rained on, it's yeah. no big deal. Yeah. But boy, I you know, coming in and here into the aid station and then afterwards and hearing some of the stories, it's like, wow, I had no idea it was that bad out there. Yeah, it's interesting because at other races like a, at a UTMB, it'll be a big front and it'll come through mm-hmm. and everybody gets wet, but it's in the Hard Rock. Mm-hmm. One peak to the next, one base oh, yeah. to the next. Yeah, you, you can be know. destroyed it's, or it's, under blue. It's timing, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, I guess the weather goddess was looking out for me there. Yeah. Well, of all of your hard rock, what's your best memory out there? Oh, um, I think the one that, that sticks with me most happened last year. I was up on Putnam, the, the um, top of the last climb as we were coming in this way last year. Um, uh, sun was setting, and it had been a pretty active day also, mm-hmm. weather-wise. Um, so you, we have this great 360-degree view, and i got blue sky over me, but just some of the craziest thunder and lightning storms going off in the distance in all directions. And um, uh, looking across Bear Creek, uh, there was a cloud right on top of the of the ridge there and you could tell it was raining raining pretty strong but that low angle sun was illuminating under the cloud and, and just like alpine glow on the, on the on the cliffs there and uh god just being up in that meadow it was full of those it was like fuchsia indian paintbrush and it was like reflecting that to the extent that it looked like the air was actually red and uh oh there are three or four rainbows i mean it was just i i stopped there and I was just like, I, I, I can't believe what I'm looking at. You know, Somebody so photoshopped fun. the day, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it was amazing. Um, so that's 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 one of my really great memories. Awesome. Uh, from, from Twenty great years. We'll be twenty. We we go for finish twenty one next oh, year. Oh sure, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going as long as I'm having fun and I'm lucky enough to be help 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 healthy um, enough to uh, believe that I can get around the course and and, uh, and when you know when I'm not I'll, I'll still be here you know we're getting an A station or, or whatever I'm yeah this is a highlight of my year I'm not gonna miss it awesome. is there a is there one person who exemplifies hard rock to you is there one person who is for you hard rock Dale yeah yeah, yeah why without a doubt. Dale um, He's all about the community, you know. I mean, he, he he's out here from the first finisher, twenty-two forty to the last forty-seven fifty, whatever it was, and um, then he's up on stage the next day and and can give you a little anecdote about every single person. I was like, wow, what a what a cool thing. So if this is a if this is a family, he's the patriarch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for making Hard Rock what it is, Kurt. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, I like to have a bonus question. And, sure. Uh, one one sentence. Hard Rock is? Hard Rock is community coming together to celebrate magnificent mountains. Awesome. What do you think? They are magnificent. Yeah. This we are a community. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. We're lucky. Totally.